Hi guys, uh, I was uh, looking for some information regarding uh, Nokia uh, known as previously Alcatel Lucent routers and switches uh, and I was struggling to find much information so I gathered some, in gathered some information I thought I'll share with you guys. So the picture you see in front of you this is the uh, Alcatel Lucent Nokia SR12 router that that's the biggest router in the range and um, why this is called 12 um, and what does SR mean? SR mean is a service router which means this router is used in uh, the backbone or you can say the um, uh, uh, ISPs and all big networks so this router has got 12 uh, modules uh, and 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 out of 12, uh, 10 uh, modules are usable where you can add your uh, IOMs and MDAs. Now, IOMs are the devices, input output devices, and MDAs are the modules going on top of that. And then you can have um, fiber uh, SFPs connected to them. Now, when, when once this router is uh, running in full uh, duplex and all the 10 IOMs are connected, it can go... Uh, up till uh, 400 uh, it can it can run up to 400 gbps i believe uh, 400 gbps or full duplex uh, um, and it can provide 400 gbps throughput basically now this 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 is this is a beast and uh, this is the biggest router in the range now the second router in this range is um, is SR7 as the name uh, implies is uh, is seven um, uh, the slots you can use again two of them are are fixed for um, switch fabric and control processor module you can only use five IOMs uh, and uh, th this is the smaller version of that and it, it it's again very powerful router now the next one in is the SR1. Now SR1 is a, it's a fixed uh, form a small chassis router basically, and um, it has got fixed card and uh, fixed. Um, uh, uh, you you can't change the cards from there, and it can give you up to 20 Gbps uh, throughput when in full duplex mode. And then they they have some switches. Uh, they call ESS Ethernet service switches. They're 7450s and different different um, uh, ranges in there. They're um, ESS six, seven, twelve like routers. Now um, to understand it more easily, uh, this, this this is another uh, uh, picture of the switches. Basically, this is ESS six and ESS seven. Again, the five slots are usable. Okay, now if you if you have a look at this picture, so if you see this device here, this this uh, module, this is input output module, um, and you can have ten of these in in um, in SR12 and five of them in in SR7, and and these these devices uh, are hot swappable means if the router is running you can you can swap the devices without turning the router down and then uh, you have on top of them uh, mdas um, so if you see these are the mdas and and you can connect fiber sfps to these uh, uh, MDAs. Now on these SFPs you connect the fiber, the the, the fiber cable basically, fiber optic. Um, and I think this is quite a good, good picture which tells you um, all the information how this IOM and MDAs and SFPs work. Now there are a few things which we uh, need to know about uh, the router. So the, when the router is booting up it will look for the BOF uh, file. Now the BOF uh, file will contain the information about the, uh, comp uh, the, the uh, configuration file, uh, where the file is, and uh, you can, uh, and from there it can load the configuration uh, of the file. So, so boot uh, option file will have the information about configuration file, and that's how it will upload the configured um, 
ports, IP addresses, and uh, all that. It usually, it comes with this um, uh, compact flash uh, cards, and it, it, there are usually three, and it will come into the CF3 card, the information how where to look for for the configuration file so bootloader uh, is the the file which will load uh, which will load the system initially and then it will look for buff and buff will find the info for cfg configuration file now the operating system running on on these routers is called a tmos and uh, uh, tmos has got different different versions and revisions and all that we don't need to go into that and uh, the the most important um, uh, file in that is is a cpm uh, .tem file, which will have all the information uh, about the configured uh, protocols and uh, ports and everything. Now, when the system boots up, the boot .loader file, uh, which uh, reads the config file, uh, waits briefly for the user input. If, if you want to give a different path of the file, you can do the, in that time. If not, it will load up. If if that file is missing, uh, then the system will fail. And if there is no configuration, it will load with a blank configuration, so minimal configuration, and then it will be up and running. So, um, and you, you you can you can you can see all the information by running the show buff command, which will tell you where the uh, Tmos uh, is and the configuration file. And uh, let's let's run that command. So I'm just going to run uh, show buff. Now, the buff, you will see in the buff, the primary image uh, is, is here under CF3, Tmos i386. And then the primary configuration, that's the config which which we have done like the root name, which I've changed to NR6. We will we will we will run the commands uh, later um, in the other video how to do the ba basic configuration. So uh, that saves in this. So if you, if you lose the configuration or if you lose the password, if and if you can delete this file, uh, you will have access again to the router. Now uh, these are all the default settings. So speed and duplex is full. Um, so you don't have to change any of these until there is there is a reason. Now the persist thing is off. This will be off on a new device by default. But if you want this device to be under management, uh, for example, um, 5260 SAM on, or NFMP, you need to uh, enable the persistent, and it needs to be persist um, because then the administ administration uh, software will talk to the device through the indexing they create an indexing file between them which will have the same name as a config file so ev anytime every time you change uh, something on the router and and you save you do admin save that file is changed as well with the index file and to the nfmp so um, this is the basic information now, in the next uh, few videos, we're going to run some commands and see how we can configure uh, this router. So, um, yeah, so I will be uploading um, those videos uh, shortly. Thank you.